What made Blue Note so different as a record label? I think starting with Frank Wolf and Alfred Lyon, the two founders who, who started this as fans and not as business people and who did not care about making money. I mean, that was not their motivation, but to capture what they called uncompromising expression. Why would someone start a record company not to make money? They were fans. I think they were just records that they wanted to hear, so they decided they were going to make them. And they didn't know anything about making records. That's why they recorded somebody like Thelonious Monk when nobody else did. And which is, might be the only reason we know who he is today. Um, so I just feel that that um, integrity um, made, made it what, what it is and, and still makes it what it is. They understood the value of trusting in the musicians. I think you have to understand an artist to uh, really get something out of it. Alfred and Frank, I never got a sense of pressure from them to create in any particular way other than whatever might come out of me. Jackie McLean had a lot of records over there. He's a, uh, he was an alto saxophonist, an educator and a composer, one of my heroes. The Herbie Hancock catalog, of course, you know. Uh, Jimmy Smith, Lou, I, I could do this <laughs> shit all day. You know what, that's why Blue Note is important. It's a little thing we recorded on, when I say it now, Blue Note. Blue Note Records. We sincerely hope you all buy these records. God knows we need the money. Any record we ever made, we never were really figuring on a hit. If later on the thing became successful, it just happened to become successful. Frank would be walking around taking photos. Yeah, we, we had access to the archive. You know, Michael Kuskuna, who's in the film, owns the Frank Wolf archives. So there's like tens of thousands of, of um, contact sheets and we spent two afternoons there, but you know, you could spend a year there and still discover new things. Um, we, we just try to focus on the, you know, sort of the seminal albums that, that, that are now in, in the field. The artwork was so fascinating as well. Every Blue Note album cover is amazing artwork, rather uh, amazing uh, a picture. You know, the, the liner notes are so amazing. The liner notes tell a story. Before we had Instagram and Google, we had liner notes. That's how we could get prepared for what the artist did and, and what we're about to listen to. And even we could even grow with the artist through liner notes. I'm about to be high now. Wait, wait a minute. Groovy, groovy, jazzy, funky. To me, hip hop is definitely connected to jazz in terms of what it does. Blue Note Records became the go to. They liked it and they sampled it. Blue Note is the past, present, and the future. Why was it important for you as the director to explore those links between hip-hop and jazz? I wanted to tell the story from today's point of view. Not only in, in featuring the artists that are on the label today, but, but also in the movements that are happening in the music now, you know, um, and that, that were happening in the 80s. So the connection to um, hip-hop, whether it's through sampling, or actually now jazz artists playing on, on, on hip-hop albums, you know, where Terrace was instrumental in bringing Robert Glasper and Ambrose Akin Muziri to, to Kendrick Lamar's album to Pimp a, a Butterfly. And that's why it was so important to me to have Terrace in the film and Ali Shahid in the film, but also Robert Glasper, Ambrose, you know, Derek Hodge, all these people that, that are in the All Stars band, to just show that it's, it's, it's alive, you know, whether you call it jazz or hip hop or anything in between. All these people still have that same quest that, that the monk had, that the Coltrane had, and that still, you know, that same kind of mission, I, I feel, and I, I just wanted to, to connect it all. Making a film, I just want to do something that hopefully is an instrument for something bigger, you know to hopefully inspire young kids to, to learn about this music, to learn about where hip hop comes from, to hopefully even learn to play an instrument, you know, to just um, pay attention to, to, to this immense like, wealth of, of culture.